The black flies. They're everywhere. That's a beautiful fish. Here comes the sun. Ba -da -da -da. Beatles suck, dude. What? Yeah, so overrated. Oh my god. You know the Beatles ain't that good. Mother. <laughs> Howdy, homies. I'm back in the great state of Maine. Out for 10 days, potentially. This is going to be our adverse weather week. It's 94 degrees right now. A slight breeze, which is really nice. But. The rest of the week is looking like rain. We decided that the options were to embrace the adverse conditions or call the trip off. And we didn't really want to call the trip off. So it is what it is. Deep down inside, sometimes I like adverse conditions. So I'm gonna try and keep a positive outlook on the situation. If either one of us decide that we've had enough, we can just call it. So we'll see how it all plays out. Craig is already out here. Yeah, I gotta find him. I know where he is. If he's where he's supposed to be. It's 94 degrees out right now, and there's snow on Katahdin. Rain is letting up. If this breeze would keep up, that would be great. Oh, no bugs. Rejoice. Woo. Some of those bugs got to my ears before I could get to my head net. Whoa, they got me good. Bugs, man, bugs. The black flies, they're insane. I have no idea how well this camera is going to pick them up, but they're everywhere. What an interesting day. Five and a half hour drive, paddling in 94 degrees, snow on top of Katahdin. Get here, go swimming, thunderstorms roll in, thunderstorms roll out, bugs are insane. Quite the day. Fires helped a lot. Made a big difference. Tonight I am cooking hamburgers on a rock and tin foil. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I got it. Did I step on something? No, I just wanted another beer. Why don't you calm the fuck down?
about 7.30, we're packing up. Heading out that way. Not a bad fish. Nice looking fish. First cast of the day. It's a good sign. See you, bud. Well done. Thanks, Bob. What a sight, such an awesome mountain. We were on the water by 7.30 this morning, trying to beat the rain. It's 8.30 now and thunder and lightning storms are on the way. They should be here by noon. So we're trying to scoot across this lake and get to where we're going before the rain comes. Our goal is to get to the Namakanta campsite and post up there for a day or two. Let this rain blow through and we'll figure out what we're gonna do from there. The temperatures are also gonna get much lower, which is good because the heat, not really a fan. We don't really have a plan. It's just gonna work out the way it works out. Play it by ear and just take it as it comes. Yeah, it's the fun of it. I'm using my North Star Trillium for this trip and it's our first big trip together. So I really, really enjoy this canoe, but I don't have that much experience in it yet. So I'm really excited to see how it's gonna perform on this trip. I have the wilderness on standby, just in case I don't feel the love for this thing. But so far, I'm digging it. I haven't really encountered any choppy, gnarly water in it yet. And that's gonna be the test, because it's a little bit shorter than my wilderness, and it's definitely narrower. So definitely not as stable, but she's fast. We made it and with time to spare, it's not raining yet. I'm hungry. Craig brought the salami <laughs> and I contributed the cheese. Oh yeah. Nice fish. All right. Just caught another. Yeah. Here comes the rain. Might as well be drinking. Cheers, man.
that was quite the downpour. I'm having fun. <laughs> this is fun. The sun is shining. We have thunder. Very peculiar set of circumstances. I like it. The rain has died back and uh, we're gonna cook some food. It's time to smoke some trout. Dude, these trout are gonna be tasty. Gonna be yummy. What a treat. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's a lot of meat right there. That was fantastic. Good morning. That was a really good night of sleep. Feel like a hundred bucks. I'm using the rock in those food bags as protection from the wind for the stove. It seems to be working. gonna eat it. Got a little break in the weather, so I'm gonna do a little fishing from the canoe. Look at the size of that stump. That thing is massive. It's still pretty windy. Not a fruitless endeavor. Nice. Let him go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Another keeper. That's a beautiful fish and we're gonna eat it. Here's my campsite.
Well, that was a fun afternoon of fishing. I'm glad that we went out on the water and utilized that time. Now it's dead calm and the mosquitoes are out in force. We knew coming into this trip that yep. we were going to be getting weather and we actually altered our plans. This was not the trip we had planned on doing this time around. We were going to go to Moosehead Lake and do a much more ambitious trip, but we figured with the weather being what it was forecasted to be, it'd be a better idea to just go somewhere else where we were a bit closer to our vehicles. And familiar with. And familiar with an area we were familiar with. We could be stuck here for a few days. You know, we'll enjoy it as much as we can with the help of a good buddy Jim here and uh, just hunker down and weather the storm. Try and keep each other company and <laughs> irritate the piss out of each other. <laughs> it's better than sitting on the couch, bud. And the bugs are a solid reminder of why I really enjoy doing this shit in the fall. I sure do love me some mosquitoes. This is great. So I've got my setup right there. Community tarp setup is right over there. And Craig, his setup is way over there. It's a nice spot. Beautiful. It certainly is, my friend. Tonight for dinner, along with the fish, I'm going to have Jamaican jerk seasoned ground turkey and dehydrated vegetables with a half cup of instant rice. The dehydrated ground turkey and the vegetables weighs three ounces. I believe a half cup of instant rice is 1.8 ounces and I also have some stir-fry veggies broccoli peppers carrots whatnot this is a pound of stir-fry veggies that dehydrated down to 1.4 ounces so I'm gonna throw some of this in as well one pot meals toss in a couple tomatoes too why not dehydrated tomatoes from last year's garden. Just fascinating. So good. Man, so good. Look at that.
this, brother. Our community tarp is in need of some help. We got some rain last night. This Craig set up. Right next to these cool boulders. Pretty neat feature. Community tarp. My setup's way over there. I'm gonna do a little fishing while I can. I'm really digging this tarp. I love it. And here come the mosquitoes. It's the worst part about this trip so far. For me. Yeah, I agree. The bugs. All kinds of bugs. June 5th, current temperature 46 degrees. Rain. Justin Sylvester reporting live from It's Good in the Woods, and Craig has just put himself on the board with a trout. Tell me, sir, how does it feel? Uh, excuse me. What? The water is like glass. With a nice little trout. I'm gonna let this guy go. Look at that right there. Nice fish. <laughs> that thing fought. Ooh -wee. Fun. Thanks, fishy. There we go. Nice trout. I'm gonna eat this guy tonight. I caught him on this little rooster tail. Here comes the sun. Ba -da -da -da. Craig loves the Beatles, so I just sing Beatles songs all the time. Makes them feel happy and you know, bring joy to someone's life. It's what what I live for. Beatles suck, dude. What? Yeah. Get the fuck out. I'm leaving. I'm going home. I'm packing up my toys and I'm leaving. His name's Craig. His channel is Meet Me Outside. That's right. What's your phone number? 
Hold on, let me get my social security and bank account numbers. I love the Beatles. I can't have anything to do with this piece the of Beatles shit. Beatles are so overrated, Oh, man. my God. Oh, my God. It's all right. You got a mosquito right on your temple. I know you're trying to make it up to me, but chances are you're going to be floating out of here face down. That's a little extreme. So is saying the Beatles suck. Even you know the Beatles ain't that good. Mother. Here's the stick technique that we've been using to cook our fish for this trip. Green stick, shave off the bark, bring it down to the bare wood because you don't want to be tasting that. And then we split it with a knife and make a little twig with tapered ends so that you can just slide it right through. can be a little difficult to push that stick through the skin, but there you have it. Simple and awesome. Love it. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to do dehydrated taco meat. It's ground turkey with rice and some stir fry veggies. Gonna put some cheddar cheese, get some hot sauce all up in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, we are packed up on this fine morning and ready to head out. It's a little bit windy, overcast, but we feel like this might be our window, so we're going for it. Fire is out, out, and we've got some wood here stacked up for the next set of campers. I'm not usually one to enjoy sitting in one location, but that was fun. That was really fun. It really wasn't that bad. The weather wasn't that bad. It rained hard for a little while and then let up and give us a good break and go out and do some fishing. So far, I feel like I've had a great time. The one thing about it that sucks is the bugs. The bugs have been relentless. You get one or the other. You get the nasty weather and the bugs are gone. And then the nasty weather blows out and it gets nice and the bugs come out and massacre you. So there's like a happy medium in there somewhere. I think we've been right on that line. A head net makes all the difference, but even still, they get at you. Even my bug bites have bug bites, like a topographical map. <laughs> I've got a mountain range on my neck. Like really nice. Sprinkling a little bit. What? Did, yeah. Did you feel it? Yeah. At first I thought it was my paddle, but sprinkling just a little bit. It's a little sketchy in a few spots. Yeah, game. Got some pretty good sized swells out here this morning some wind that seems to be confused so it's making for interesting conditions it's got a little sketchy back there for a little while it's like being in a washing machine it's getting tossed around all over the place it's fun but it keeps you on your toes it's definitely a mental game you got to be paying attention even though it's june this water is still really cold and you wouldn't want to be too far from shore if you went in so it's nerve-wracking but that's what I like about it. 
keep you on your toes, got to pay attention. And if something goes wrong, it can really go wrong. So it's uh, a high stakes game for sure. All that said, it's really fun. It's a weird thing to explain how being nervous and apprehensive is actually fun. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm trying to say. Took a nice little break on a point here, and we've been talking about the situation. And it looks like we're gonna bail. There's weather on the way, so they say. And um, Craig's chair broke last night. Craig forgot his boots, so his feet are wet and cold. And we're, we're deciding that we're just gonna paddle back to the vehicles and leave. It's a bit of a bummer, but Honestly, the worst thing about this whole trip for me has been the bugs, and I would be lying if I said I'm not excited to be getting out of those. It wasn't what we expected to do. The weather kind of dictates on trips like these, and it was fine. I had a lot of fun fishing. I didn't mind the rain because we weren't just pinned, sitting under a tarp the whole time. Speaking of that, we had the community tarp, so when it was raining, we were able to enjoy each other's company and hang out. When the rain stopped, I'd go fishing, and the fishing was good for me on this trip, so I'm really thankful for that. It was a lot of fun. We didn't make 10 days, but it is what it is. Well... <laughs> That was my first really sketchy paddle in the new canoe. And the canoe did well. Felt a little tippy initially, but once I dug down in and got going, it was fine. I even took a couple white caps to the side and got some water in my boat and everything. And I felt like I could have gone over easily, but I didn't. So that's good. A little confidence builder. That was pretty sketchy. Never looks it on film. I know people do way sketchier stuff, but for me, that was sketchy. And now that it's over, it was fun. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. And as always, I'll see you next time.